Greetings everyone. This is Kim LaRue from Powell United Methodist Church and today I'm at Inniswood in Westerville and I'm introducing our new devotional series called Patterns of Grace and Gratitude. I want to show you what's behind me here at Inniswood. You can see the beautiful wrought iron fence and the daffodils that have just started blooming and then there's this amazing tree behind me. It's, it's called a twisted redwood tree. And what I love about all of this is you can see that there are man-made pa patterns in the fence and then these God-made patterns. And Inniswood is a place of this beautiful connection between what God creates in patterns and what we create as people in patterns. And we're going to explore this idea of patterns in grace and gratitude during the next few weeks all the way up till Pentecost, which is May 23rd. Grace is one of the hardest things to understand in our faith life and having an attitude of gratitude on an ongoing basis is also very difficult. So I want to think about how does God's grace cover us and how do we respond in gratitude. I'm hoping that this will be a devotional series that will help us understand a little bit about how we can make a difference in our corner of the world. And I want to read to you a little bit from Paul's words from Ephesians that kind of set the tone for this. So let me read these for you. This is from Ephesians 2. For it is by grace that you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So as we explore this idea of patterns in grace and gratitude, I hope that you'll see patterns in your own life, in your own yard, in your own travels, in your own relationships with people. Join me for this next devotional series.